welcome to Animal Inspector. Too many animals, the government declares. Florida teen builds robot moose. <laughs> Let's hunters shoot it for cash. <laughs> Gun fancy. The last buck. Meet its hunter. Big big scrap? Big scoop scoop? Big scoop? Secret murder agency? Please don't care. This is like a tabloid. Like this could just be replaced with like Jennifer Lawrence and uh, Vanessa Hudson are hooking up <laughs> and like have a picture, you know? <laughs> oh Jesus. Don't show me that. I hate these kinds of cats. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this game is. Oh, yeah, puppy. Kind of looks like a kangaroo, though. It might be a kangaroo. Look at it. It looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> My truest friend. Noble and fierce. You'll be inspected soon. But I won't wait for that. They're hiring agents, you know. I've already applied. You're a good doggy. Kangaroo. He's a kangaroo. I won't let them take you, Miss My Little Kangaroo. He looks like a little kangaroo, Joey. Animal Inspector. Oh, I'm digging the soundtrack. Oh. Hello, dog woman. <laughs> My name is Martha. It is wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just starting out here as well? Yes. Why, yes, I am. Drag a fish to... Ew. Okay. How exciting. Well, I am very much looking forward to this. It would be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you see that young man over there? Hey, hello. He looks like an otter. He's like an otter man. <laughs> I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. <laughs> he was a little rude. So I'm glad that you are here. Oh, but enough of this. I am very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you, in any case. <laughs> you are all the new employees. Okay. Well, I'm in charge here. Uh, listen up. This job's pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms. Go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals. Reject bad or useless animals. Don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Well, oh yeah, one more thing. Please make sure to comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasonings. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's it, I guess. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, sure. That's it? Isn't there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if you screwed up. But try not to. Screw up. Okay. You always find a stack of forms on your desk. I am starting you all off easy, but please be thorough. So there's like too many animals, and our job is to decide which ones are worthy of living or not? <laughs> it seems nice. You think so too, right? Yeah, sure. Fine. I mean, he didn't say anything bad. Like, he wasn't mean. Yes, a good boss, I think. Well, it seems that our day is about to begin. It is time to go inspect some animals. Okay. We will chat some more tomorrow. Animal inspection form Al 96-45-82. Number 00375. Lowly pooch. <laughs> That's not a species. That's a dog. He's not... Okay, whatever. Age 7. Nature goof. Good for petting. Civilian appeal. We all love this fuzzy dog a lot. Alvarez family. So, 
they the the boss man said that we need to rate them on their usefulness. See, having a good pet type of animal is very useful because that helps with morale. People really like their pets, and you know, if if a pet makes somebody happy and it makes them be a better, more protective person, then that's pretty useful for the overall society. You know, like the type. Um, he cute. Uh, he cute AF. Good for morale. <laughs> drag a stamp. Oh, I have to drag the stamp, and then we'll put it right over his fifth. Approved. <laughs> All right, next doogie. Please. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. Animal inspection form Al ninety six forty five fifty two. Tiny cat, nature aloof, age four, kills mice. Ah, see? Has a skill. <laughs> she didn't let me touch her until a few months ago, but now I pet her every day. Samantha. Good at... Um, wait, no. Useful in our... Our, uh, intended conquest over animal kind. <laughs> Approved! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Animal inspection form L96452. Wasn't that the last one? House cat, timid, age six and a half, reminder of simpler days. He easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is family. Uh, no, not keeps. Uh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. No. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's like staring. He's like, I see you. I'm gonna get you. What is this thumbs up? Oh, am I done? Okay, um, welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. Some of you. And I won't name any names, but you know who you are. They've been a little too liberal with approvals. The whole point of this agency is to cull the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. From now on, I'll need you all to reject at least one animal. I did that. I did that. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Um, okay, yeah. That's it. <coughs> oh, and, uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm just recovering from the tuberculosis. Okay, so this is just a warning, but please clean up your forms a little bit before turning them in. There should be a little feather duster on your desk. Standard issue. So, uh, use it, maybe? Alright. Okay, good. Anyways, next time this happens, you're going to get a strike. So, uh, don't let it happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello again. How was your first day? Good. Lovely. My day was grand. Such wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course, I approved them all. <laughs> Though, I guess I cannot do that anymore. <laughs> No. I hate to bring this up, but I heard... Did you really reject a kitty? Yes, but I also passed one through, so... I cancelled it out, you know. Oh dear, well I am sure you had a good reason. She looks like a dog, though. I guess I should get used to this kind of thing. Good luck today, dear. I guess that's why the, her text box is a doggy. Is he supposed to be amphibious? Because I said he looked like an otter. Hey, uh, we never really talked earlier. I'm Alan. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like, really, just the worst. You, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get me. Anyway, good to meet you. What is this, a snake? A snake? It's a snake. 
No. <laughs> it's a snake. Did I cleaned it? Is it cleaned? Yeah, no, snake. Oh my god, that thing looks like... Oh boy. Are you kidding me? It's nervous and it sheds and it has no civilian appeal? Dumb, stupid, amino. Dumb, stupid. Ain't got nothing. Dumb, stupid cat, get out of here. Oh, look at that good boy. Look at that good boy. An ancient hound. Oh, he's old though. He old though. He's resigned, good for petting. Mike's the family dog. He's old, but he's part of the household. Oh, he old though. Mm. Nah. He old. He old. I'm sorry. Just go ahead and put him out of his misery, you know? Well, uh, it's a new day. So, uh, there's a bit of a space concern. Basically, what I mean by that is there are some concerns about, uh, space. Specifically, the space all these animals are taking up. I guess what I'm trying to say is please prioritize rejection of larger animals. All things being equal anyways. Anything close to human sized. That's the size I'm talking about. A people sized animal. Unbelievable. After all, the whole point of this is to... Well, to make space, I guess. Okay, you. Uh, we need to talk. Hmm. Well, um, I didn't really think I needed to explain this, but, well, when you comment on forms, you should, uh, you should try to spell things correctly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know mistakes happen, but your job is kind of to not make mistakes. And you made some with that last batch. Maybe you don't spe like think spelling is important, but you're a professional now. I guess. So, uh, please try to act like it. Just a warning this time. But if this happens again, I'll have to give you a strike. Hmm. Well, dear. Hello, dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. I just do not agree with that. But he does not want to listen to me. He called me. Well, dear. He said that I'm out of touch. And that I'm out of time. And that I'm out of my mind when he's not around. Can you believe it? Uh, yes, I can, actually, but he would say something like that, yeah. Goodness! Dear, I had thought you were kind. I think maybe you do not mean it. No, 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 you asked if I believed whether or not he said it. I believe that he said that, yeah. I believe you, I'm on your side. <laughs> but even being rude only to get a reaction is very cruel. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I rejected an animal. Not a cat, of course. It was just a fish. The natural enemy of cats. But still, it does not feel good. Not at all. Dear, I know we have our instructions, but I do not think you should be rejecting cats. I just do not think it is right. Cats are very intelligent creatures, you know. In some ways, a cat is smarter than you or me. With you, it is maybe a lot of ways smarter. So, do you understand now? Do you promise to approve the cats? No, I don't. Oh, I guess that was a hard promise to make. But I think maybe you could have tried. Well, I guess I will see you later. Doosh. How's it going? I keep forgetting what voice he has, so he's just gonna be bored now. I heard you sent the family dog to the farm. Ha ha ha, right on thing was old obvious choice for rejection but not everyone would have done it anyways props i've been getting rid of pretty much all my animals seriously it's got no tolerance for use i've got no tolerance for useful things when i was just a kid i had a pet frog i spent so much time taking care of that thing i'd even read its so its stories before bed I'd sit there and just read through it out loud. Just me and my frog. Every night. But one day I realized something. I was wasting my life. In 
Instead of reading to that frog, I could have been, I don't know, doing homework or something. I could have been learning a new skill, improving myself, you know? All the time I spent with it, what was the point? So you know what I did? Flushed it. I flushed my frog. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be here otherwise. Here with this job, I mean. I may not love this job, but I'm gonna do it well. See you around. Jesus, dude, you flushed your frog. It's a frog. Okay. Um, the dog's big. Yeah, he said to prioritize too big. Too big. Big dog. Too big. We can't have too big. Get out of here. I know you're only three, but you're too big. He said not to do well, Ants. Ants? Ants. You're trying to make an appeal to me. <laughs> that I should save your ant farm? <laughs> We aren't supposed to let the ants out in the classroom. <laughs> They're ants. But I mean, honestly though, ants are so... And it's an ant farm, so they're enclosed in the case. So they're so small, and it's for an educational purpose. Like, it doesn't, you know. I think I spilled everything right there. Yeah. They're, they're fine. Because the concern is about there's too many animals taking up space in the world. Who boy. <laughs> Species, tiny pup, age one half. Squeaky, fits in a lap. This brutish pooch bit my left hand and drew blood. I think I'll need stitches. Evil. No liking. No good. Get it out of here. No likey. Mm -mm. Okay, so good morning. I just got word from the department head. Basically, well, they think you've all been doing great. Really great. So great, in fact, that they're bumping up the inspection quota. So, uh, well, you now have five animals each to look through. Also, this means you each need to reject two. Because there are more animals. I mean, uh, oh. By the way, I appreciate you rejecting the big dog. It was definitely a large animal. Maybe even the largest. It's good to know someone was listening. So, uh, yeah. Good job. Though, in the future. Well, you know, never mind. Oh, oh. Oh dear, that poor dog. Was it really the least useful animal? I am not really a dog woman, but you are literally a dog woman. <laughs> well, I think it made its owners happy. This job is not what I thought it would be. I am trying my best to be fair to these animals, but it is not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions, instructions I do not always agree with. Oh man, this job. I don't want to say this too loudly, but, uh, well, it's boring, yeah? A real drag. Very repetitive. God, can you imagine doing this for the rest of your life? Gives you real appreciation for education, huh? Like, seriously, poor Martha. She's basically at the end of her life. She's ancient. So old. Like, just look at her. Yeah, yeah, I saw her just a second ago. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything's led her, led, led for her. Man, yeah, real happy that's not me. Like I said, I don't think I'll be here long. You'll probably make it out of here too. You're good at this, I can tell. Okay. I don't know how long this game goes for, but I think this will be the last batch before I end this episode. And I'll probably do another one, see how it goes. Like I said, it might not end. <laughs> I don't know how, how long this game goes, but I'll explore it for a bit. Species standard feline. Loving. Fits in small places. This cat is very affectionate. Um, yeah, 
yeah, we'll pass this one through. Like I said, morale animal. Good for morale. Keen it. But they have to reject two now. Garden Kitten, Meek Soft. She's still finding her voice. I think she will do great things. She's a cat. Um, if I pass this one through, there will be three left to choose from, which means I can still reject two. So I think I'll pass this one through. Young. Hasn't proved to be useless yet. <laughs> yet! Hasn't proved to be useless yet. We'll keep tabs on this one. Keep tabs on this one. Oh god. Confident self-cleaning. Oscar is my most practical cat. He even feeds himself. He's a mouser. If I let this one through, I have to reject the next two. And I'm not gonna commit to that just yet. Uh, fatty. <laughs> Look at him, he's a fatty. Oh, I approved it! Dang it! I approved it because he's a fatty. <laughs> so I have to reject these last two. Uh, dumb. Uh, stupid. Dumb, stupid. There you go. Clean it off. There you go. Um... Okay, so, I'm sorry to say it, but old Mindy has come down with the flu. Oh no! Yeah, it's sad, but it's only the flu. So, uh, rest assured old Mindy will be back in action soon enough. In any case, uh, well, someone needs to take her place in the cages. And today that someone is Alan. Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... Ex... Exemplary... Uh... Exemplary? Performance here these past few weeks. Right on. You all have been doing well. So, no need to worry about increased quotas. Good work out there, everyone. Oh dear, what do you think about that? It's pretty cool. Well, maybe so, dear. I am just glad it was not me who's chosen. I have heard some bad things about that place. Very scary things. Things that are not good at all, dear. By the way, dear, I, uh, I uh, just wanted to tell you that I understand. I understand that you had to reject those cats. I am not sure what I would have done in the same... I still do not agree, but I know this job is important to you, and I'm glad that it was not it was not Alan who inspected these cats. I just hope that I do not have to make that choice. Oh man, I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but anything's better than doing paperwork all day. Honestly, I'm pumped about it. Very excited. Thrilled. This is the beginning of a good things for me. They can feel it. Alright. <laughs> like I said, that was the last one I was going to do for this episode. I'm going to end it. Can I pause this? I can't pause it. It's paused now. Look at that. So, yes. I'll probably do another... I'm going to do another one of these, and I don't know if that'll be the last one or not. I don't expect this game to be very long. But we'll see how the cow keep playing. Take it as it goes. So until next time, um, you know, the next video where we're deciding, we're playing God and deciding the life or death of these animals. <laughs> yes, the power is in my hands. Whether these animals live is within my grasp. Anyway, see you next time on this or something else. Maybe, hopefully, come back, maybe. Yes. And whatever. I'm not going to be an annoying YouTuber that's like, SUBSCRIBE NOW! No. Bye! <laughs>